right, you are ready to take the plunge. You're going to join the wonderful world of sailing. Adventure awaits. Well, we are very happy to have you, and I hope to see you on the water sooner than later. But first, let me save you some money free of charge. The most valuable commodity I know of is information. Wouldn't you agree? So how do you come up with even determining what is a good offer on a sailboat? Well, a broker can tell you the basics. They can tell you what other models have sold for. However, when it comes to sailing vessels, that means absolutely nothing, almost. Now, each vessel is very unique and it is based on the current owner, what kind of shape that vessel is in, what's been done to the vessel, what's been upgraded. Oftentimes people add things to their vessel and sometimes they increase the value. Often they decrease the value. There are some very basic things to consider when making your offer. In this video, I just wanna outline some very basic things that can get you a good solid starting point for determining a valid offer on the vessel you have chosen. When it comes to determining a good solid offer on a sailing vessel, there are some basic foundational things to consider. Everything on a sailboat has a lifespan. Sails have a lifespan, anchors, standing rigging, running rigging, and so on. There's about six things you really, really need to consider when determining your offer on the sailing vessel. Now, if any of these six things need to be replaced, you should instantly deduct that from the price of the vessel. These are things that are gonna make that vessel sail ready. Now, if you're buying a refit or something and you plan on doing a bunch of work, that's different. You need to take a lot more things into consideration to determine a price on that type of a vessel. However, for most of us, we're ready to buy a sailboat that can go sailing now, not in a year from now, not in three years from now. So with these six things, I'm going to show you exactly how to price them out and use them to your advantage when determining your offer. In the description below, there is this spreadsheet free of charge. Just save it, make a copy and save the copy. Once you make a copy and save it, you're free to edit it any way that you like and you can adjust any of these columns to fit your specific needs. First, we need to choose a vessel for this example. Now, we're gonna use the Beneteau Oceanus 473 because there's several of them and the prices range a pretty good amount. First up, we need to get ourselves some sales, or at least figure out how much it's gonna cost us to get new sales. Now, the easiest way to do that is to head on over to Precision Sales. You can get yourself a quote free of charge and it will generally arrive within 24 hours. Now, the fantastic thing about Precision Sales is they will give you several different options for each sale that you choose, as you can see here on screen. Now, for the Beneteau Oceanus 473, it's gonna cost us around $6,000 for a new main and a Genoa or a jib. Just depends on which way we would like to go. That's kind of the middle of the road price on these. Now back on over to our spreadsheet. And as you can see, I have sales in here at $6,000. Very, very simple. And we start to gather ourselves a foundation to base our offer on along with what they currently sell for or previously have sold for recently on the market. You can now become a producer on Chasing Latitudes videos. Now to help me continue to make these videos, a donation of $100 will get you producer status. You do get a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me included with the $100 as well as you will be listed at the end of each video as a producer. You also get access for a year to our members area. It's an absolutely phenomenal package that is an incredible value. Now, if that's a little bit too much for the bank account, I completely understand, but you can join my patron to help support the videos. For only $10 a month, you do get access to the members area, so it's a fantastic bargain. And there are several hundred members over on our members area that are all in various aspects of either purchasing a vessel, taking sailing lessons, or getting ready to get on the water full time. But consider becoming a producer. It would sure help me a lot and I would love to have you on board. Next up, we're gonna move right into standing rigging and running rigging. Now, there is no simple, easy way to get prices on this. What we need to do here is we need to call around to riggers and find out exactly what it's going to cost us. Now, if you look at our spreadsheet again, I already have the prices as I've already done the legwork on this. So we're gonna punch those two numbers in understanding rigging and running rigging and we start to again put together a foundation for our offer 
Next up, we need to look at anchors. Now, the simplest place to go and figure out a price on a good anchor is Mantis Marine. Simply head on over to the website, choose your anchor, and choose the size. It's really, really easy. Now, on the Beneteau Oceana 7.3, two new anchors are gonna come in right around $4,000, as you can see again on the spreadsheet here. Next up, we need to take a look at the condition of the bottom of the vessel. Now, getting the bottom redone once a year is something that everyone should do as part of your routine maintenance. However, it does cost time and money. You do need to haul the vessel out, store it somewhere, and get the work done, and then re-splash the vessel. Now, a good rough estimate on getting the bottom job done on an Oceanus 473 will be right around $2,000. So, if the vessel needs a new bottom job, then you want to deduct this from your offer price. This is just part of routine maintenance. Speaking of saving money, I do have a discount code to the American Sailing Association membership. Now, this is the only discount code available in the world. You save $10, so instead of $59 per year, it's $49 per year. And once you are an American Sailing Association member, you do get access to numerous other discounts. You can get discounts on sales from Precision Sales, mentioned earlier in the video, as well as CETO and a wide variety of others. If you're not an American Sailing Association ship member, I suggest going and getting your membership now and save some money and let me know all about it in the comments below. Next up, we need to consider our dinghy. Does the vessel have a dinghy with an outboard or not? Now, as a sailboat owner, obviously your dinghy is your main form of transportation to and from the vessel. One of the best ways you can always save money as a sailboat owner is to anchor out. And you're of course going to need transportation to and from land. That's done through a dinghy. So if the vessel has a dinghy, is it in good shape? Is it in bad shape? Do you need to get a new one? Now, the average price of a dinghy, we'll say is $2,500. That's for a very, very inexpensive dinghy with a very small outboard. It will get the job done, but for the purposes of this, we're gonna list it at right around $2,500. All right, now we've covered what I consider are just the very, very basic six things to consider when you first start to come up with your offer on a vessel. Now, as you can see, we've done sales, standing rigging, anchors, running rigging, a bottom job, and a dinghy, all basic necessities for a capable sailing vessel. We are already at over $23,000. That is an absolute ton of money. Now, if we look on the market and one is listed for 100,000, looks like it's in great shape, and one is listed for 115,000, all we need to do is go, okay, the one for 100,000 needs all of these things. The one for 115 needs none of these things. So the vessel that's actually listed for more is a much, much better deal. But this gives you a very, very basic foundation to start to build your offer on. Now, there are several other things to consider. You always need to get yourself a survey. If the vessel is over 35 feet, I always suggest a rigging survey as well. Once you start to add all these things up, the cost gets exponentially more expensive depending on the size of the vessel. Now, if we go above 40 feet, our sails are much more expensive than they would be if we were at 35 feet. The same with our anchors, everything just becomes exponentially more expensive. But this is a good way to break the basic foundational costs of your new to you sailboat down and understand exactly how much it's gonna cost you to get that vessel up to par to get sailing again. The last thing I wanna see any of you do is be stuck in a marina for a year or three like you see on YouTube every single day. I want you out on the water sooner than later and I want you to save money in the process. Now, hopefully this gives you a good head start on determining a fair market offer for a new to you vessel. If you did like the video, please, please, please comment down below. It really, really helps the algorithm. Don't forget the spreadsheet is available free in the description as well as the discount to the American Sailing Association membership. And also you can now become a producer on Chasing Latitudes videos. Now to help me continue to make these videos, a donation of $100 will get you producer status. You do 
could get a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me included with the hundred dollars as well as you will be listed at the end of each video as a producer you also get access for a year to our members area it's an absolutely phenomenal package that is an incredible value now if that's a little bit too much for the bank account i completely understand but you can join my patron to help support the videos for only ten dollars a month you do get access to the members area so it's a fantastic bargain and there are several hundred members over on our members area that are all in various aspects of either purchasing a vessel taking sailing lessons or getting ready to get on the water full time but consider becoming a producer it would sure help me a lot and i would love to have you on board Thank you.